Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity that is Ken Shaving and BSing, home of your original Big Shave Best Champion, as always. And today, it's just a shave. Uh, nothing special. No, no razor um, uh, battle. Just uh, a scent I wanted to go back to, and probably, probably, probably uh, somewhat inspired by uh, Douglas saying something on a video, a live video on Facebook while I was driving around about Wednesday. Well, this was big at Thursday. And uh, and I'm gonna use uh, Ogallala Bay Rum and Sweet Orange Shaving Soap with the matching aftershave splash. This is a real heavy Bay Rum. If I would give it a comparison, think about like spiced orange tea. It's a really pleasant scent. I keep it in this um, Ziploc uh, bowl because uh, it's about the right size puck. It's a Pretty firm puck. It was not triple mill, but it's a firm puck. Scent's very nice. If you're not a big fan of straight bay rum, but you do like spiced tea, let's say, orange spiced tea, this is probably it for you. So I think we're going to start with the banana oil cube. Use a rich man shaving brush with boss knot. And today's razor. Uh, it's become one of my favorites in, in the den. I haven't used it in a while. Merker uh, Progress, and I think I'm just going to do setting to today and see how it goes. I need to turn it up, I will. It's just a nice razor. The Mergress has the metal to be it from, I think, Bulgu shaving. This is just the Progress with the tacky, you know, ivory, white plastic. Great weight, two-piece razor, already loaded with the feather blade I used to last shave, so it's only one shave down. Let's get prepped. Call this two plus days growth because the last shave was a night shave a couple nights ago. It's been over two nights. So this is two plus days growth. Just out of the shower as well. So the hair should be nice and plump still from the warm water. I'm going to leave the excess on use it to help build my lather. Alright. Yeah, seems like San Antonio today will be a city council vote. That will extend our um, stay home, work safe order as they call it. It doesn't contradict the, uh, the governor's phasing reopening of the state. But there are still requirements involved in terms of social distancing and masks and certain places remaining closed. But, eh, we'll see. See, people see reactions and they don't read the entire story. And that's where we get all those stupid politics on the internet about all this stuff. Sometimes, and we are the second largest city in Texas and the third largest um, metropolitan area. The Dallas-Fort Worth Metro, I think, is two. Houston is one still. And Houston is the fourth largest city in the country, first in the state. We're, we're second because we're bigger than Dallas proper. And we're the seventh in the, in the country. But we're the third largest metro area because of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And all the towns in the area between it and around it. So we may go through May 19th for, and which I guess the way is logical that it, because of the size of our city, we've had some expanding cases. Now, positive, you know, confirmed cases are just because of test work, but the spread is the issue. So, eh, I knew they would use it as a defense. But, you know, it's just watching, you know, knowing, just paying attention, knowing both sides of the argument and whatever. I'm not, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just doing math. And math is math. <laughs> All right. Well, that's more water in, but it did lather up pretty well already. Ogallala, good performing soap. This is a... It's a pleasant scent. This or bay rum is uh, sweet orange. It'll go a long way considering the 
firmness of the puck and the amount. It's a four and a half ounce puck. I forget what I paid for. Bought it through Maggard a couple years ago now. <laughs> I think it needs more water because it looks like it's going to dry out in spots. It's, uh, let's see. I'll just check it ingredients. It looks like a vegan style soap. Yeah, yeah. Didn't see any tallow in there. Top ingredients, coconut oil, palm oil, castor oil, safflower oil, glycerin, purified water. Yeah, so it's, yeah. And, uh, yeah, soybean protein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's have retired proprietary blend of essential oils too, so not even fragrance oils. All right, good enough. Good enough, good enough, good enough, good stuff. Where's that from? I actually, I went the opposite way of Mantic. Mantic used to love this razor. It probably was his favorite. And then he, when he got the Parker variant, he said the variant, he preferred the variant. Well, I've gone the other way for some reason. <laughs> I ended up liking the, the progress better, so, oh. Maybe I haven't unlocked the secret of the variant for me yet. He's a little too scrapey for me. The progress seems a little smoother depending on where you adjust it. A little weeper, but a little inflamed thing anyway. This is actually my second one because I sold my first one. I think I sent it to John Perry. I think I sold it to him. He lives in my area. And but I realized I missed it so much. I found it actually cheaper than the price I bought it for on eBay originally. So if you look around, I think I paid 55 for this one. I got quite the price, I believe. I think my first one was $64.99. It was new in the box and everything. So. I think some place had just like two left in stock and just only wanted to get rid of them. <laughs> Lucky me, I was one of those fortunate folks. All right. Go for pass two here. So yeah. I'm trying to think of what would be a good next video. Another razor battle. Maybe a battle of the so-called recommended starter razors like the Merker 34C versus the Edwin Jagger. DE89. 
maybe the I don't know. Maybe the variant versus the progress. Hard to say. Massive amount of feedback on this razor, you can tell. quick in my chin area. Yeah. Ew, I got myself good there. Kind of a wide scrape. Eh, carelessness. That bit me in the butt. Lots we'll of stiff tick that up. <laughs> I rarely do something like that nowadays. Never really did it like that much before. A few weepers. I just rushed it, too much pressure. Let's rinse. I don't know, something... The blade and everything was aligned well. Maybe something was off that I missed. Maybe that's why it's been a little scrapier. But let's rinse off and uh, close this wound up here. We're gonna stop here because I don't need to get ultra close today or anything. I just wanted to get a shave in, be a little cleaner this morning. I'm going to start with the styptic pencil after I get some cool water on the face. And wet the pencil. I'm going to hold it in there. And I'm going to take some album block and hit up the rest of the face. Overall feedback is not bad. It's just where I opened up a few of those weepers. But, you know, some of them may have been misaligned with that blade, too. But I definitely rushed where I cut myself and the few weepers that opened there as part of it. I want to let it, I'm just going to pat the water dry. And a little more, more styptic.
a couple other trouble spots about where I north of where I opened myself up. Eh, not pleasant, but it happens. Alright. That's reality, kids. Let that dry. Don't really need to shake this, but Witch Hazel, Purified Water Alcohol, Bay Rose, Sweet Orange, Essential Oil. So this is basically like the well, I do need it for the oil distribution. But kind of like Captain's Choice yesterday. I mean, it's not going to hang around a long time, but it smells great. And you just want to let it dry. I'd say the aftershave is definitely more Bay Rum pickup. But the orange is there too. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be good with this one. Not a lot of feedback minus where I kind of dinged myself up there. So that happens, sadly. And I don't know. I'm not I'm, just because I'm paranoid. I'm gonna bank this blade after two shaves. Okay. So minus a little cut there. The weeper's close. Solid overall shave for two passes. A little bit. So thanks for watching. I know this wasn't a big fancy to do today. But just a, just a daily shave to kind of feel normal in the morning. And I got to get a line and get to work. <laughs> so I will see you all in the next video. Stay safe. Dry safe. Don't drink it dry. Cheers. Too sweet to the good brothers and good sisters out there. Take care of yourself and each other. Love one another and each other. The champ loves you, baby. I'll talk to you later.